back in Paris, Silmo. After 18 months, finally a uh, real show, real people, great eyewear, and uh, yeah, just having fun browsing the booths, seeing some amazing eyewear designs. So uh, let's take a tour on uh, what is one of the best and the largest shows in the world and see what we can discover. So this year, the big news for Alien. Now it's no more a sub collection from Fasafas. Fasa. It's launched at his own brand, actually. And so we create like some kind of steel timeless collection as we are using with aluminium and this bended edge and uh, trying to trend also like more trendy frame like this one, the Alien Club, which is more bold than the one we are used to do usually. <laughs> you should wear that one maybe. Oh, is it? This is men. Oh, but if for some reason I always pick the, the feminine lines. I, I just like that. Oh. Yeah. Because for the designers, they go down with men. They're not so creative with the men lines and then but with that's the feminine something lines. Something that is just something I like to do to make also beautiful eyewear for men. Mm -hmm. As this is a, really a challenge to make something particular, but don't overdo in. So in a way that men like it still, yeah. and and then it's somehow for me always about uh, dreaming something new. I, I just don't know. It's sometimes when I go for walks and imagine what is what is missing. So normally I uh, go to Simo Paris uh, with the Thalys, but uh, as you know, I'm from Amsterdam, I'm Dutch. So I thought, let's, uh, let's go very Dutch this time and uh, take the bike. This uh, bike was uh, sponsored to me by a brand called uh, Johnny Loco. They make uh, very high quality uh, bicycles, but uh, yeah, they also make pretty cool uh, eyewear. Very funky brand from uh, Amsterdam. Ah, I don't actually know if they're from Amsterdam. They're, they're from Holland for sure. And, uh, they kind of got a retro style with a more futuristic look to it, which is totally on trend because it's uh, in times of, uh, of crisis, which we uh, have been having the last 18 years. People tend to uh, to go back to what they know, where they feel safe, which is retro, of course. So that's the new trend for uh, upcoming season: retro styles with a future futuristic look. This is an intersection of uh, shapes. So you you see the oval, uh, the triangle, and the square. So this is a this is a very uh, it's it, it's uh, it's nice to wear for for men and also for women uh, and uh, so it's unisex. <laughs> it's unisex. That's, there's a lot of that's the name. There. A lot yes. of, a lot of, lot of uh, shapes, a lot of uh, yeah. lines. But still, if you wear it, 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 it does not take over your personality. It, 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 Empowers it. Actually. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you can see also the work on uh, on the volume. So it's uh, it's uh, frisé. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, by color. And all pieces has my uh, fingerprint on the um, that's on, cool. on the yeah on the temple. So awesome. here. Yeah, that's why uh, that's why it's unique. It's it's also logo and uh, and the brand. 
So Dimitri is a guy who really put his fingerprints uh, on the industry when yeah. it comes to design. Yeah. But now you also put your fingerprints on the frame itself in the real and on uh, each client. And on each which client. Which wear my glasses. <laughs> so consumers, opticians out there, try to put uh, his fingerprint on your clients and uh, selling some amazing independent eyewear designed by uh, Dimitri Zamal. Hello Martin, welcome on Emmanuel Kent's booth. I'm Eva Gome, the art director of the brand and we had such an amazing Silmo edition. So happy to be back meeting our clients again. This season has been also very special because we were nominated with one of our latest collaboration, a very fashionable frame that was um, designed in collaboration with uh, Maître Pierre. Uh, so this is Le Peigne, which means the camb. Um, this is a handmade design um, in France, uh, collaboration between our brand, uh, Maître Pierre, uh, Labo and also we uh, made uh, collaborated to manufacture French based in Oyona. So very proud of this uh, product. The style is amazing. I think um, it uh, attracted a lot of people to try it on. And also this season is, as you can see, very colorful. Emmanuel Scan Spirit is back. Welcome on the face à face booth for this uh, Silmo 21. Uh, you will find here a, a display showing the story of the color and the light for the new fall winter season. Uh, as an highlight, uh, let me present you the Eclipse, uh, which is really about having a halo all around and a really uh, sculpted front. With the story of the light, here is the sunset, so with the decoration though of color on the side, with the reflection of on both color within the crystal in the middle. And uh, as a sun dial, you have here some uh, highlight on the optical collection. Uh, you have here the, the zenith, as if the, the sun was coming from the top uh, at noon, so you have the color pointing on the top. And uh, you have here the neon with a tone on tone uh, and the color is on the side so you will have an eclipse effect. So really playing with the color as light, light as color. So we're now approaching uh, Factory 900. I think there is, if there is one brand that's like very known, well known for their super cool design, it's Factory 900. They won about, I don't know, 35 Sumo Do Awards. Crazy, amazing designers. And uh, yeah, we know them uh, at Tuff from their uh, funky uh, sculptural frame designs, but uh, at this table, they have what they call the retro collection. So it's kind of, more retro stylish frames let me show you a couple retro for them but still pretty sophisticated in general and uh, the shapes themselves are pretty retro but it still have the signature of factory 900 so like the 3d sculptures I don't know if you can see how the bevel is uh, cut out here and if you can see here their, their signature line which is pretty chunky and therefore uh, pretty uh, heavy. So what they did is like they cut uh, the back, they made like a curvation so the back is thinner, so it weighs uh, already 10 grams lighter, which makes it more comfortable to wear, but still very chunky and very unique. This is again, this is, I'm always talking about trends, but yeah, it is what it is, guys. Retro with a futuristic twist. So it's totally uh, a frame of today but inspired by uh, the things we love from the past. I mean, with the current uh, COVID pandemic, we're all uh, looking for something that we feel comfortable with, that we know. That's uh, the cool thing about these uh, Redwell-inspired frames. 
with a super funky futuristic twist. I mean, you can see like this is not round. See the lens; it's like multi-faceted. Uh, Very cool. Another hexagon with a multi-gun. I don't know the the right name for that. Factory 900. Super cool frames. Very nice colors too. All made in their own factory in Japan. The name 900 actually comes. Yeah, it's, it's called Factory 900 because the name of the factory is 900. Probably the 900 building in that block. And uh, yeah, very cool uh, color blocking going on. Made by themselves in Japan. Very light frame lenses for their sun collection. Kind of matching the the color of uh, of the, the the bottom rim. Factory 900. Go check it out. They will be. Uh, in our new book publication, uh, the Holy Grail of Ira Design. And if uh, there's one brand that deserves this spot, it's them for sure. Hello, Martin. Hello, world. I'm very happy to be back in business and I'm very happy to be in France and Paris, which I love so much. I'm very happy to see all my colleagues that I haven't seen for one and a half years. And it's like coming back from a very, very, very long holiday. And uh, now we are all happy, basically. If you want, I can show you the latest uh, news of our endeavor in the eyewear market and i direct the attention to where is the winner to this model actually uh, this it's a very very huge um let's say exaggerated model from our series that we do together with new york based stylist uh, marcus paul and um in this category, we were nominated for the Silmo Door, which we didn't win, unfortunately, but a very amazing other company won it. So we are not really super sad because the other company really, really earned that. That was our model that was nominated right here. It's called Emilio with this wonderful, beautiful fur green. I really like, ah, here you can see the sticker. So, we can say after being for almost five years back in business, it was a great honor for us to be nominated again here in Paris. And it got to feel like being back like in the old days with IC Berlin in 1989 when we won our first prize. So in general, happy to be back and happy to uh, announced that we will be here the next year and on Nido and on Opti and we will meet each other again. Goodbye everyone. Awesome. Some new styles by uh, Impregio. Very cool. Looks like the back of an airplane or a uh, Corvette. Impregio makes a uh, Amazing frames with uh, 3D printing. The freedom of 3D. Very cool designs though. You can see here. We saw this brand before. Bold Optical. But also uh, Lost Paris, I think, it was two years ago. But do you want you wanted something like that? Very nice design. What we've got here. How are you doing? Yeah, good. <laughs> More uh, sophisticated styles, but still 3D printed with a cool pattern. Great job! I think this was a V or a similar frame, which they won the Silver Door Award with a couple years back. Renko Impresio from France. Very sophisticated. Very nice.
So some more uh, 3D printed eyewear by uh, Glensen Baum in Germany. Nice chunky frame here. The cool hinge uh, design. Very urban style by Glensen. It's kind of a combination between uh, yeah, real sophisticated, elegant design, but still a bit urban look. And the three-day printing process gives it that, uh, that rough finishing, which makes it urban. But the styles and, and the shapes and the and smoothness of the curvation are uh, really elegant. First of all, uh, we launched for the first time a unique uh, eyewear and uh, watches collection for our uh, kids' rebels. It exists in two different lines. We have, first of all, our teens uh, line, and that fits actually for an age from 11 to 15 years old. Then we also have our junior line. The junior line fits from 6 to 11 years old. As you can maybe see, uh, it's also made from sustainable material. Uh, it's food recycled and also eco acetate. That means made from natural materials, uh, no plastic pollution, etc. I think this is really important. Why we launched this concept? Because I think the youth is the future. We want to invest in the youth because they will be the next generation. So we're now uh, approaching one of the most trendiest brands of uh, the last couple of years. It's called uh, Kreuzberg Kinder and uh, it's from uh, Berlin, Germany. Very cool uh, urban style brand that makes uh, chunky urban frame designs uh, for an affordable price but uh, without any com comparison uh, towards uh, the, the quality or the materials of uh, the frame. You can see it's uh, it's almost like high fashion, which we can uh, expect from a brand from uh, Kreuzberg, which is a very uh, cool area in Berlin. One of their uh, one of their boroughs, let's call it like that. Let's. Uh, Go into the booth, see what, what kind of cool brands they got here. This is almost a uh, French approach. And the Japanese. But I can uh, guarantee you it's all uh, very German. Very much Kreuzberg. Super high quality. Look at that beauty over there. That's pretty cool. And I would even wear this one. Hey guys, we're still here at uh, Silmo Paris. And we're talking uh, to Thomas Lafon of uh, the brand Lafon. Thomas is a very uh, tall French guy. And I'm a very uh, short Dutch guy. So I have some problems getting us both into the picture. Stretching my arm very far here. But they will make it happen, uh, Thomas. So how are you enjoying uh, Sumo so far? I'm, I'm very, uh, very happy to be at uh, Sumo. I'm very happy to introduce the collection and also to have a booth. So it's really it's like, uh, like the cherry on the cake. Yeah. So it's very important to know uh, what we did, the deco, the, uh, the atmosphere of the show and the booth. I think it's very uh, giving the total uh, idea of uh, what we are and what we are doing. The complete uh, Lafon experience. Exactly. Totally, exactly. Yeah, totally. And great to see people again, right? Shake hands, hug, little huggies. Right. Yeah. yeah. We have to say nothing now, but I think it's very important because for like uh, one year and a half we saw nobody, or maybe two, two years we saw nobody. Yeah. And I think the connection with the optician is something uh, in the middle of our, uh, of our business, in the middle of uh, to be able to express ourselves uh, with the product. So here we have a uh, booth uh, of Lightbird, a uh, good friend uh, Corrado, amazing designer. And I'm pretty sure you remember uh, some of his uh, early editions. He has uh, 
an acetate frame, I think, but the, the front has a anodized aluminium uh, layer. So it's, uh, it's, it's a double material, Arcorado, am I saying it correctly? Acetate yes, and... Yes, yes, yeah, material. yeah, very acetate cool. Acetate and brass, uh, pure copper and acetate. And uh, for example, aluminium, pure aluminium and uh, anodized aluminium. Cool, super cool. So that's, that's kind of uh, his uh, business card, as we call it in Holland, his, uh, his, his, the thing he does. So this is the new ones with real, real copper and brass, not just like some uh, some color name, but uh, actual copper and brass. Super cool designs, but uh, his new stuff has a, a totally uh, new approach. Very nicely colored acetates, as you can see here. And the name of this new collection is uh, is social, so like a capsule collection. Social because uh, yeah, it's about uh, the person who wears it. Uh, the frame has to express the people, uh, the person who wears the actual frame and shows a little bit of his, uh, his, his personality and his character. So this year uh, we relaunched the woman collection uh, because there was no, um, quite no, no model for women anymore. And then um, this is Goldfield also. Goldfield frames. Yeah, and we had uh, acetate insert. Oh yeah. On some uh, colors. I love that. Very sophisticated, but still uh, fashionable, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so that's for Goldfield, and uh, as I told you, we had also um, another collection um, made in nanos nanofit. That is a material very uh, flexible, light. It's called Nanofit? Yeah. Okay, I don't know yet yet. Interesting. And uh, yeah, the, the frames are very light. And a very good quality uh, for like frameless also. Clicks. Yeah. No. But if you want, we can speak in French. No, so no. that, yeah. <laughs> I would just say we, 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 Maybe you uh, are aware that we don't see a lot of uh, licensing brands at Tough Magazine because uh, I don't personally like that much if a brand has to express themselves uh, over the brand name of uh, something else, except when a, brand, when a product is made with uh, the knowledge that uh, the brand owner has accomplished. Like for instance, McLaren, they are yes. very innovative, they're always working with uh, the latest technologies, and you guys use that knowledge and know how create uh, amazing eyewear through uh, laser sintering, 3D printing, and create a super comfortable uh, and pretty uh, good frame. Yeah, yeah, this is the main idea uh, the, well, to use the, the knowledge and the DNA of the brand uh, to, to develop products that uh, are really, well, really nice, so they have a design that is obviously corresponding uh, to the brand, but also that are really comfortable, uh, light if you can, light, of course. Yeah, and, uh, it's sublime, yeah, but it's still it's not yeah. awesome. And, uh, and really, yeah, really useful. So, so here can, I can show you the final product. Uh, once it has been unfinished, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and so the yeah, so you have, the yeah. this is another door inches. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The main idea is to respect uh, the uh, the universe and uh, oh. yeah, oh, nice. yeah. And so you have a uh, here you have a titanium. Uh, uh, Front face. Um, so as I was showing you, that is a 3D printing with a, um, a technology where you use powder to develop the frame. Yeah. Um, but it's not like layers. It's like this, this, this base work. Yes, yes. You have the, well, the the frame is like that, and you know it's uh, it's going to uh, to be developed by the by the powder you insert. Yeah. And um, and after that, of course, you finish the, the product and you you mm -hmm. so it's you, polished or yes, it's like polished that. and you, yeah. you never have the same product because of the unfinished. Uh, this is a metronome. It's 
we saw him before on the tap. But uh, he's a Japanese designer. He creates new styles every, I don't know, every day. He's quite busy. And he's quite uh, unique in his uh, approach. As you can tell, look at that one. Isn't that beautiful? Super cool design by uh, Bizai, the designer. Doctor, uh, if I uh, remember the story correctly, Bizai was uh, more of an industrial designer who went uh, into Iver later in his life. As you can see, uh, he uses his experience in uh, industrial design or, or art uh, in a very unique way to create these beautiful pieces of uh, wearable art. So. Brands called Metronome by Bizai. And there he is, the man himself. Let's say hi. Hey Bizai. How you doing? Hi. I'm fine. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Happy to be back in Paris. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, huh? Yeah, nice. To see people again and uh, First one you you mentioned uh, the Elvis Presley oh, yeah, frame. Elvis, yeah. This yeah. one is what we transfer to the SLS technology. So 3D printed. Yeah, this one is original. Yeah, the original. So Elvis wears himself, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Elvis, Elvis goes to me home. Absolutely. <laughs> but this. this we know, guys, in this style for the past. But this one I have to take here because it's uh, 18 karat gold. Uh, yeah, that's why I want to yeah, yeah, I know. I know. That's, that's <laughs> there, so we covered that. Thank you uh, very much. You're welcome for coming. <laughs> so you took the, 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 the heritage, and you, you put it into the 21st century yeah. Yeah. with 3D printing. Yeah, and it's beautiful. So it's very light. Yeah, now. much lighter than the yes. 24K, yes. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, I see the taking care of business logo. Yeah. Yes. So, what do you think, guys? You know me? Elvis is still alive. No, the king is back. <laughs> so uh, we are now here at uh, Moki. It's a Scandinavian brand uh, from Norway. I had to think about it for a bit, but it was Norway. And I make uh, kiss frames, but uh, in a very unique, uh, unique way. It's all about uh, comfort and protection. As you can see, uh, they have a unique system which has won uh, several uh, design awards. Maybe uh, the owner, uh, Moshe, can uh, tell a little bit more about it. You won uh, several awards, Moshe. Yes, correctly. I totally until now is 11 international awards. The last one was uh, Redo 2021. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's very satisfying to see that others appreciate the, the long process we went through. Exactly, because uh, I can imagine it took a while to get perfect, it right? It took three years for us ah. and uh, we are so happy with the result because we did it for the kids yeah. and the kids need something with high quality. High quality and fun, a lot and of fun colors. And educations in yeah. warm color, warm material, eco-friendly. So, stepping into the booth of uh, Neubau and we're here with uh, Daniel. Hey. How are you doing, Daniel? Quite good. You? Still more again, so we're happy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. Huh? Yeah, yeah. 18 months since Opti. Yeah. Finally see uh, some new uh, people, some old people. Yeah, I know. It's really good, you know. Um, to be back. Yeah. So the, that's, that's the uh, titanium line I was talking about with the hinge that uh, Gabriel developed. So, yeah, okay. Um, it's also a, a sheet metal uh, frame that, that, that we know. Uh, we already have it out there in the market. We work with titanium, uh, now with steel, and the hinge is created screwless. Uh, we have like injection on the part in the center, and it's quite easy um, to, to open and to glaze. Um, so, especially for opticians, it's, it's great to work with. You know, it's not complicated to glaze the frame. Cool it's, model too. Uh, what's the name of this shape? That's Horst. Horst. Yeah. Very, very uh, Austrian. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Horst. Um, we offer it as, as optical and sun as well. And we have like around 10 styles in the titanium range now. Very and, cool. And cool colors. Yeah, I like the injection part, like little uh, yeah. contrasting color. And um, yeah, it's all of it produced in Austria. So um, we have, we still use the silhouette production and uh, all the products are still produced and will be produced in, 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 in the future as well. 
And these are uh, 3D printed frames? Exactly. So the, the upper line, they are also d printed. What we have in a 3D printed segment is um, we have a, an eagle in the temple, so mm -hmm. it's fully adjustable. Yeah, just like acetate would be. Exactly. That's um, cool. So it's also easy to work with. And um, we have a 100% bio-based material that we use um, for the 3D printed. Yeah, because being eco-friendly is a big part of Neubau. It's one of the core of, of the brand at the end. Yeah. And we try to, uh, to implement this as good as we can. Yeah, I think you're doing a great job with it. And uh, I think you also gained much fame uh, over the last like two, three years. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a certain tailwind now, not just because of those, uh, let's say, sustainable materials, but also because of our uh, European production. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, we're here at Silmo de Hugo, amazing designer from Parasite. Silmo the World winner. Once, twice? Yeah, once. Once, once yeah. 2017. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember because I voted for you. So, oh. uh, yeah. <laughs> the jury, the Silmo Dor Jury member and Silmo Dor uh, winner talking about amazing eyewear and Parasite, that is an amazing brand. So, uh, I've seen your uh, designs throughout the years, but uh, what, what, what's new in the world of Parasite? Okay, so today we are playing a lot with the new materials we already had in the, in the Parasite brand, which is uh, the polyamide uh, uh, iridescent lens that we use here, the 3D printing, and now we are combining this with uh, some more traditional stuff like acetate. Okay. So, I can show you there, so this is a... Uh, this is, uh, do you want one air? Yeah. yeah. So combining acetate with our lead. Uh, it's pretty traditional, material. especially for parasite, but it's good. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, in a way, we try to. We try. I'm gonna show you this one too. This is the one I wear. Sunglasses. Super cool. I mean, it's 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 uh, more classic, but still. Chunky, and then you got like the the, the, the edgy bevels and uh, exactly. we recognizable. Try to keep the futuristic, exactly, uh, futuristic edge design of parasites and combine with more traditional uh, uh, material. Hey guys, at Tef Magazine, it's all about beautiful eyewear, but we also love a party, and we got a party coming up real soon because. Yes. It's the 50th birthday of Pro Design. Project is turning 50 in two years' time, and uh, for the celebration of the anniversary, we will launch four uh, iconic designs in two years, so one every six months. So things are still in secret, but you're gonna have the first release now coming soon. Uh, originally designed from Gail Spence, uh, and so we have relaunched it. We designed it a little bit also to adapt with the new generation. Um, and it's uh, gonna be a big surprise. We're gonna have lots of events in uh, shops also. Cool, they're really looking forward. Yeah. So it's gonna be uh, several icons, right? Several icons. And you're gonna launch them, like to tease us, because we exactly. love great frames, but exactly. you're not gonna give us to us. You're gonna give it every six months or so, something exactly. new, something cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, and also very, for uh, men and women. Cool. Yeah. Go check it out, guys. The anniversary icons by Pro Design. It's uh, inspired on the old frames like from uh, 40 years ago, like the 80s, but uh, Brit yeah. brought back into the 21st century with the new colors and a uh, new really production. Design piece. Yeah. yeah, really stunning. Really awesome. Yeah. Check it out. Icons, mm -hmm. Pro Design. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Guys, we're at Sumo and we're talking to uh, Sabine Wagner Hi. from the amazing French government, uh, Sabine B. B. Or, I, Sabine as I wanted to say, it's Sabine B. So yeah. the, the company is French, but the, the name is kind of English. It's, it's B because it's about the people, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I'm very happy to, to be here and uh, to see again uh, my uh, lovely obsession. Uh, yeah. Yes. I think that's the, the main uh, thing. We all feel happiness to see each other again. Yes, and yes. It's, uh, it's amazing to be, to be here. And um, 
I'm happy to, to see that uh, my customer and the new customer uh, are enjoy to see uh, the new collection. Awesome. Yes. And I see your, your, your frame you're wearing. That looks amazing. Is that one of the new ones? Uh, I don't this understand. Is a, this is a new style? Yes, yes. Yeah. This one is a new, new shape. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, the name of this uh, is Be Cute. Be cute. Yes. That's how uh, Sabine's frame uh, start with B, um, and then expression. Yes, yeah? yes. Be nice, be, be cute, be... Be crazy, be, be Val de Loire, be happy, be gypsy, be ying, be young, be yun. <laughs> we love it, we love it. Yes, we are with uh, Thierry, yes. designer for a structure area, a beautiful uh, collection of uh, handmade phones. Exactly. And it's not by the chair himself. Yes, it's, we, are, we have a factory in Evreux, one hour near of Paris, and uh, we make these in this frame in our factory. Uh, we have a collection of uh, sun frames like, like this one, the new one, the diamond, as you see. Uh, with several different colors put together and uh, this one the Venice Beach with specific acetate sheets with multi layers uh, that allow us to mill uh, the top layers to reveal the crystal part and to get the lens inside to get the same effect with the cool. inside and outside place. the frame, yes. And that's all the shape of the temple. Exactly. The exactly. The, the temple, the bridge, the, the lens, and so on. Uh, this is yeah. kind of a deco? Yes, yes, yes. With the small holes at yeah. the sunrise, we have been uh, nominated for Cinemol. Uh, I remember, yeah. Uh, yes, with this frame. I think I voted for it. Exactly, it works very well. Uh, so we take a lot of pleasure making a uh, uh, frame for the, for the sun market because we can design something very different, mm -hmm. uh, be a, a bit uh, uh, more ambitious to have something that uh, has not already been made. Exactly. Uh, Hello guys, this is Ton and Nick from Theo Eyewear. You know, Theo loves you, we still do. We haven't seen you for 18 months and here we are. Silmo 2021, ready, and we miss you guys. So uh, hopefully we will see you back soon. We saw many people, but it were nearly all Europeans. We can't wait to see the rest of the world on any next show happening very soon. So Greatest fans and friends, let's meet again soon, somewhere in the world. Hey guys, we we're at Sumo and we were at uh, Chris and Anna from uh, the DC. Yes. And I think DC is really from uh, the capital, Washington DC. Am I right? Yes. It's a you visited it once and you was uh, you fell in love with it? It's a play world. Yeah, yeah, it's a play world and it's two different worlds, France, America, and then your amazing eyewear. Yeah. What have you got for us uh, this year? Because you're making some amazing designs for many years. Yeah. And every year you surprise me with, uh, all right, let me put you a little bit in the screen more, because it's about uh, Chris and not so much about me and my big face. But uh, every year you surprise me with new designs and uh, it's always uh, a pleasure to see it. What can you show me? That's awesome. Big chunky frame, so that's totally on trend. Yeah. Matches my big face. Uh, do you have any inspiration for this? Because uh, I mean, it's 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 uh, like a, a square standard shape, but it has its uh, edgy bevels, and uh, you can see the lines going. Just like like that. Just like that. Yeah, this is Chris. You just go sit down, he draws it just like yes. that, and magic happens. No, you don't uh, wait a design. Yeah. It's, it's come, it's come from the heart, it's from passion, yeah, right? Passion. Yeah. Exactly. Which it should be with uh, true independent eyewear. And it's all about the passion for great products. And uh, yeah, unique shapes like this one. 
Hey guys, we are here at uh, Silmo, talking to Elena from Colibri. Amazing eyewear for small faces. Yes, that's right, yeah, especially for small faces. Yeah, so not for me, but uh, yeah, it can't be all about me. Let's talk about uh, small eyewear for a change. Yeah. Colibri is famous for that, right? You really. Yes, so we are a family company. My parents founded the company, and yeah, now I'm the managing partner of Colibris and yeah so over 20 years we are known for small faces for yeah, small frames for small faces exactly yes. and it's a, it's a perfect name Colibri little bird beautiful colorful yes petite. dynamic oh, yeah that's cool. let's go we are here with uh, Amelie and uh, her beautiful morel frames a declaration with uh, Jean Nouvel yes. So we make a collaboration with Jean Nouvel last year. So it's very simple design. Titanium frame, long shape, and just bar. I like how the bar like, continues yes. all over the frame. So very industrial, architectural. And also we're introducing acetate, using also the same shape. Yeah, the same design approach. With some trendy color. One gradient color. Oh, very cute. And coming in one shape, two, three shape. And the new style is a combination of acetate with titanium using the round shape. That's nice. That's beautiful. I love how this color continues on the, the metal embedded rim. Oh, that's awesome. Nice job. I don't know if you can see the color and the more retro. Yeah, retro and futuristic. It's like a combination, yeah? Some super cool sunglasses. Like this one. And the original, like the uh, Sophia, one, Smoky Gray. Yeah. Uh, nice. Yeah. This collab is a real success. It's Morel and Jean Nouvel. And uh, who is Jean Nouvel? Uh, what is he famous for? Is, what does he do in normal life? Let's call it that way. Louvre, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's very famous uh, all over the world. Okay. And it was very nice collaboration between Morel and Jean-Luc.